We were raised in a home in which we had three responsibilities. We had a responsibility for our own family. We had a responsibility to our business world. And we had a responsibility to the community. And she lived up to that her whole life. She wasn't a dreamer in the sense that she had some idealized vision of the world. I think my father taught us about the way the world was. My mother taught us about the way the world could be. And she sought to reshape it at so many levels. Ruth was a mentor. She was a leader. She was a total inspiration to anybody she even said hello to. She was the head of a family. She was a businesswoman. She was a gifted developer, and she was a social scientist. She raised four children, got a BA and a PhD from Case Western Reserve, and became the first woman to head the Cleveland Health Department. This is an amazing woman. She used all of those opportunities to continue to help build people and most of all to care for people. Ruth was passionate about downtown Cleveland and she was passionate about the people in downtown Cleveland. She looked at downtown as a neighborhood and wanted to bring the very best to that neighborhood. When she and the Ratner family built and expanded Tower City Center, that changed the whole picture of this city. And she felt very strongly that society would be much better off if everybody in society was a part of it. She provided an opportunity for minorities to be a part of downtown business. I greatly admired her tenacity and her commitment to minority business owners. And this inclusionary spirit has carried on throughout the city and exists today in many ways. There's a real forward-thinking effort to include all of Cleveland, the core and all the neighborhoods. She was an outstanding person, not only in this community, but in the nation and on an international basis. She always wanted to make an impact and, and understood the value that an individual motivating groups of people in a team effort to build a consensus, build a bridge, knock down a wall, was critically important to success. She loved her family, she loved her friends, and she loved equally this city and this community and all that goes with it. The warmth of her being is certainly still with me, and she set a tremendous example. I think Ruth's message for people today would be to be a doer. Don't just think, don't just promise, but do it. She would be happy because there's progress. And then she would say, okay, forget about it. What can we do to make it better? That was her gift. My brother Richard and Abe and sister Gaby, we were charged with a mission Whatever else you do in this world, the main theme of your life has to be leaving it a better place than when you found it. She was truly an extraordinary woman.